A Myanmar court has sentenced a New Zealand bar manager and his two business associates to two years and six months in prison for insulting Buddhism. The trio was convicted on Tuesday for posting a flyer on social media that showed a psychedelic depiction of Buddha wearing headphones. Philip Blackwood, 32, Tun Thurin, 40, and Dut Kokol Win, 26, were given two years for insulting religion and six months for disobeying an order from a public servant. The trial of V Gastro Bar Manager Philip Blackwood, bar owner Tun Thurin and employee Dut Kokol Win came as the predominantly Buddhist nation grapples with a surge of religious nationalism, including violence against members of the minority Muslim community. The three were arrested in December after the image was used on Facebook to promote the tapas bar and lounge, and sparked outrage on social media. The online ad was removed and an apology was posted, but the three men were detained in Myanmar's notorious insane prison. Freedom under a threat Phil Robertson, Deputy Asia Director of Human Rights Watch said that, while the three men acted in a culturally insensitive way, they should not be sent to prison. It's clear that the authorities have decided to throw the book at them, and make an example of them, and in the process, have kowtowed to pressure from the extremist Buddhist groups, like the Ma Bhatha, Robertson told Al Jazeera's Florence Louis, who is reporting from Myanmar. In a statement sent to Al Jazeera, Amnesty International demanded that the conviction be overturned immediately, adding that the case is a chilling indication of the growing climate of religious intolerance in the country. Judge Yelwin said that although Blackwood posted an apology, he had intentionally plotted to insult religious belief when he uploaded the photo. He added that it was unreasonable only to blame the foreigner when explaining the guilty verdicts for Tun Thurin and Dut Kokol Win. Blackwood's parents, however, told Fairfax Media from their New Zealand home that they were shocked by the decision. We hoped common sense would prevail and he would be found not guilty because it was not a malicious or intentional act, Brian Blackwood, Philip's father, said. About half a dozen monks and Buddhist nationalists gathered outside the Yangon court to hear the verdict. After the sentencing, Blackwood told reporters as he was getting into a police lorry that he would appeal.